Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Bria Mason. If you're seeing this for the first time, please join my family and hit the subscribe button. If you're not seeing it for the first time and you're back again to show your support, I thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to leave a comment. So today what we're doing is a bit of a more in-depth review of the set of products that I bought from Take A Lot for 800 rands, a whopping 800 rands. So a full set at that price is questionable, I agree. But in the same breath, we want to acknowledge that starting out as a nail technician is so daunting. It's financially straining because you're applying product and you're removing it. You're applying product and you're removing it. That's basically what you're doing because you need to practice on a daily basis. And the more you're practicing, your product, your powder is going less, your monomer is going less. Your filers are the, the rough, the friction that they create is no longer, it's no longer serving its purpose. So if you are able to buy products at a lower price, I would be more than happy for you to, to know, to be aware of that. But let's also test, um, let's, let's consider and check out together how it really works. Look at its pros and its cons. So what I'll be doing is going into um detail step by step product by product um it's gonna be four products that we're going to be reviewing it'll be the monomer it'll be the powder it will be the nail lamp and it will be the the e-file let's get into it so the next product that we'll um, be discussing is the acrylic powder um it's it is flow acrylic powder and this is in 30 grams and at the china's or the my friends it should be no more than 30 rands yeah and then you have a more established brand like planet nails 30 grams and this one retails for like 90 bucks yeah well that's a one so the thing with this is that Yes, it's affordable, but it didn't work the way I would have loved for it to work, number one. Um, the flow of the product was very difficult. When you come back to dip your brush into the monomer, the bead is dry already. So now you must press, you must take your, your brush and press the bead, literally mold it into, into the shape. And that's not how it's supposed to be. You should be able to, I'll show you in the practice finger, you should be able to place your bead and have it run effortlessly to the bottom. And then it's just up to you to shape it, dry your brush off a bit, shape it into position, place it into position. Um, it should be as easy as that, but not with this one. And then it dries too quickly while you're still working with it. I don't gear it. And then when you're done with it, and now it's not drying quick enough, it dries off like with a very tacky layer but most we are shy with the with the um your hand file because that's how you do the test right to check if your bead is dry it does have that sound it will say it's dry but when you're gonna file it it's very very rubbery if i can put it that way the filing is very rubbery the product that comes off is not coming off as consistently as it should be it's coming off rubbery and like little balls and stuff so it was very difficult to work with this i'm not gonna lie but if you'll be able to if your budget does not allow you to afford this then i'm gonna suggest that you use extremely small beads then use very very small beads um place it be quick with your brush on the the paper towel come back place that bead into position small bead again like that and i think that's how you'll be able to to work with it yeah um i'm really really grateful for these brands that do create um their versions of products at very very affordable prices because they really help our people that start out and are not sure what they're doing but really want to see their vision come to life um of course money is not always on our side so 
I would suggest that yes, the products that I that I bought in that video, the Take A Lot haul, yes, you can get those products, but please just use it on a practice finger. That's all I'm asking for you because um, of the health risks. Yeah, that's my main focus because of the health. That's my main concern, the health risks that come with these products. That is why I'm saying rather use it on a, um, a practice finger or a practice hand. Yeah, up until you, you're more established and you can afford the better products and start working on actual hands. Yeah, so that was it from me today. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.